It's Black Friday, and while people are out standing in line for crappy, overproduced, cheap televisions, I am here watching free waifus. <laughs> Arc Knights Episode 5 just aired, and honestly, when I was watching the show, I was almost kind of feeling a little bit let down. Like, this was just a <laughs> escort mission episode, and so it was just characters walking around, but... Underneath, there was a really good insight into the conflict between Rhodes Island, the reunion, the people of the slums, and yes, that conflict that Misha herself is facing, but in the end, also introducing Texas and Exusai, which I think both of them turned out to be pretty fun characters. But although, I will admit, was feeling like a little bit of a slipping in the quality of the show itself. I, I've been pretty high praising the series all the way up through episode four. Really did feel like episode five was showing me at least a little bit of a sign of a little bit of a pullback, and I hope that's not something that's going to transition into episode six, seven, and eight. You now, opening up the episode, we get a clarification of my, I, I guess, misinterpreting episode four <laughs> and the idea that while Amiya was looking for Misha, I thought they were going to end up passing it over to her to take Misha to Rhodes Island, even though, obviously, Franca and Lishkam were supposed to be finding Misha to take them to Chen. So... No. <laughs> Opening up the episode, Amiya's like, all right, Chin, we got her. And then suddenly Misha's all, suddenly going, whoa, wait, <laughs> wait, I thought you were going to help me. Now you're going to pass me over to Lunghem. I said Lunghem, Lungman. But no, it obviously turns into an argument of, well, Reunion's obviously looking for Misha. They're eventually going to find her. So no matter what, you're in trouble. So at least this method with, you know, Amiya bringing you in, there's a good chance that she could talk Lungman into letting you over to Rhodes Island. But yeah, this is when Exusai shows up. So we got, <laughs> I thought Exusai and Texas, they were going to be part of Black Steel. No, but they're actually a part of Penguin Logistics, <laughs> which I'm assuming as a group that smuggles people. It seems like everything that was around Exusai and Texas was indicating that their their specialty is moving people. So they obviously Exusai is setting up some sort of escape route and Texas is kind of going along with it. So it was interesting to add another faction to it. Now we have mercenaries and now we have apparently some sort of smuggling group. I didn't really get an indication of who they were working with. I think that it's indicated that they were working with Lungman as well with Chin and they were helping them get Misha out of there. But no, they end up finding out that this entire area is getting flooded with Reunion. And this is where we're at this point establishing the Reunion's moving quickly. I mean, we had an idea that the Reunion were coming to Lungman, but we're now finding out exactly how they plan on at least causing some sort of chaos. And that is using the people of the slums. Obviously, when you have this big, gigantic area, and yes, a lot of people are well off, you're obviously going to have a group over here, the slums, which are the people that aren't doing well or kind of kicked to the curb or additionally infected. And so the reunion's taking advantage of that. There's a lot of infecting in the area and they can utilize the fact that this area looks down upon them to, to bring them under their wing. And this is obviously turning into a big turf war as you have some people that are a part of the slums, not like in the fact that the reunion around destroying things. So even though Amiya and them come into the area and they help out the people of the area and tell them to get the heck out of there because it's basically a war zone at this point, they're like, where the hell do you want me to go? <laughs> like, I don't have anywhere to go. People, I mean, even a lot of the people that come to Lungmen to get away, there's not really somewhere they can go. They're displaced. It's not like suddenly they can walk up in the area with the skyscrapers and get an apartment there. And additionally, if they're infected, they can't seek help from the governments. But again, through Misha's perspective, we're getting a, a kind of an advancement of that perspective between the Reunion and Rhodes Island. As she's like, well, who's Reunion? She's like, oh yeah, they're, <laughs> they're the guys that are infected that are damaging things. Well, why are the infected fighting the infected then? Aren't, isn't Rhode Island, doesn't, don't they have infected? Well, yes, we're both infected. The problem is that at some point we came to a, a split. We, we chose our path to go on and unfortunately that path will eventually lead to us conflicting. With Reunion, they're trying to create a place for the infected, but from their perspective, it means to get rid of anything that's not infected. And that's not something that Rhodes Island wants. Rhodes Island wants to find some way of coexisting with each other. And additionally, this is the point which we are now conferring to Misha, who did flee from Chernobog, that yes, the reunion were the ones that destroyed Chernobog. They were the ones that attacked it. So when she's talking about the fact that, you know, things were going crazy in Chernobog, all they could do was run. They're like, yes, that was the reunion. And technically the government that wasn't doing anything to help you. <laughs> and this entire time they're fleeing, we at some point get a perspective of somebody that's chasing after them. This masked person that has, I think at the last episode, had the two, <laughs> the two grenade launchers. This person jumps into this building where they meet Texas and confronts Misha. I'm already getting a sense from this shot and the shot where they jump across the building 
that this person knows Misha personally. I don't know how that's going to transfer. Maybe it's somebody that Misha knew back in Chernobog, and there they joined the reunion. Misha fled, and now they've come to meet them. Again, it does give a lot of indication this episode that they are purposely looking for Misha. And it could be that it's not the reunion as a whole is looking for Misha because she's special somehow, but specifically this one commander that at least has a group with her is seeking out Misha. So it makes me believe that it's just a simple fact this one person knows Misha and wants to get Misha. But we do get an indication that there's something terribly wrong with Misha. Obviously we knew that she was infected because they're chasing after her, but additionally, it seems as if her infection is already in some bad state. There's both acute and chronic versions of this oropathy, and she's in a bad spot. I mean, she gave her some sort of temporary treatment, but she's like, we need to get you, we need to get you taken care of. We need to get you out of here and hopefully convince Lungman that we can take you over to Rhodes Island. It did look significantly different than what Amya has. Like typically it shows that it looks like, like some sort of spreading in the skin itself on the surface layer. But specifically with Misha, it looked like it was actually coming out of the skin. Like the gems were growing out. And I think at some point when they did mention the idea of this infection, at some point your entire body will crystallize and then it will shatter. And this is already showing some sort of sign of crystallization coming out of her skin. So I would assume this is a later version of it. But yeah, they keep running. They run into a couple of reunions, they jump over a building, <laughs> and at some point they kind of meet in this one location and we get this, this realization from Misha that Amia could be trusted. And it's really through the conversations of everybody like Franca, Exercise, Texas, and Lishkam. They're all kind of talking about the issue of the reunion being able to manipulate people. Why do they believe the reunion? It doesn't make any sense. They're they're selling them lies, they're obvious lies. But yet these people of the slum are just eating it up. I think Franca put it really well, but they're basically saying, yeah, reunion makes it to where you can feel like all of your dreams of these infected people will come true. If they can look away from the harsh reality for even a moment, they'll be saved from it. It doesn't matter if it's fantasy. The harsher the reality, the more they want something to hold on to. They're at their worst. What better options do they have? Society hates them wants to quarantine them or get rid of them. They have no social status anymore. They can't live their lives anymore. What better option do they have than this group of people that's basically throwing honey at them? But I love this because Franca turns to Amya and says, but Rhodes Island would never lie being able to do something they can't do. The infected are trapped in their own fantasies, but there's no way they can believe some little bunny girl who can't even flatter them or tell them lies. Like nobody's gonna believe her. <laughs> It's almost like I was expecting Amya to see that as some sort of an insult, but she's like, oh, nobody's going to believe her. <laughs> like, that's what's great about Rose Island. So gonna... I know they didn't mean it that meanly, but I thought it was a cute little statement to, again, Rose Island versus the option of the reunion. And again, this is something exactly that Misha is seeing. And well, I think more Misha has seen this in the previous scene where Amya couldn't help but want to help those that were in the area being attacked by the reunion. She knew, Misha knew that Amya was conflicted. Again, Amya wants to help everybody. So she's like, go, go help them, Amya. I know you want to do this. And I think, again, that, that gave her that feeling of like, yeah, it's obvious who's the bad guy here. Again, the reunion is not bad guys. It's just they're doing things wrong. Even though, again, they want to kill everybody. <laughs> There's a reason why. Like I've said several times before with lots of other stories, I do like whenever you at least understand the bad guys. You won't agree with them. You don't think what they're doing is right but at least you understand their mindset. Being rejected by society, what care would you have for society? But yeah, like I said, besides it feeling like a escort, <laughs> escort episode, it did have some little nuggets in here. Sadly, no medic, but I'll live. Texas was also cool. I, I really did like seeing Texas. She's like, I don't know, like Kirito with a lightsaber thing. We got, we got some Jedi action in this episode. But again, it kind of felt like a lot of the action scenes they weren't there. Like, it didn't feel like they were putting enough effort. And I, again, I hope this doesn't transition into the final three episodes. Anyhow, that's my thoughts on episode five of Arc Knights. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Comment. Let me know what's thought of the episode. Additionally, if you're new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button so you get all my content. I do news, reviews, first impressions, top list. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. Additionally, if you want to support the channel more, we have a Patreon link, a tips link, and a super thanks button down below. We also got a link to our Discord down there. I decided to make an Arch Knight channel, even though we only have like three more episodes left after this, um, just because I wanted people to post medic artwork in there. That's <laughs> not the boy, the cute cat girl. I don't want a bunch of people jumping in there and putting boy medic in there. It's fine. Uh, but anyways, uh, if you like a great community of people that enjoy anime and want to talk about it, definitely jump in there. If you want to talk about the game too in that channel, it's fine, but it's mostly for the show. But I thank you all for dropping by. I hope you guys enjoy this video and y'all take care.